Hey, hello YouTube and welcome to another video. This is 2E0 IQJ. So I edit all my videos using a MacBook Pro using Final Cut Pro, which has been brilliant software, but I like playing with open source software. And today we're going to look at uh, DX Login with PyQSO and on the open source platform, which is Linux. So I've got this secondhand laptop of eBay, which is an IBM ThinkPad, which is a I don't know if you can see that, the way the camera's going to pick it up, which is an i5, and again, you can see there and there where I've pulled the Windows 10 and Windows 7 stickers off it. So at the moment, it's Microsoft free, which can't be bad. It's running a solid state disk. The only downside is you've still got a bloody Windows flag there. It's a shame I can't get a Linux key, which would be brilliant. It'll be completely uh, Microsoft free. So, what I'll show you how to do is set up PyQSO and do some basic login using the PyQSO software on Linux. Let's take a closer look. So we're on a computer and I'm going to show you how to install PyQSO, set a little icon up on the desktop and a quick overview of the software. So PyQSO has to be installed through the terminal. We're going to right click and we're going to go open in terminal. We're just going to simply type in sudo app dash get install pi qso so sudo is super user do apt is advanced package tool dash get install pi qso push enter enter my password sonic the hedgehog 3 and it's going to say that no packages were installed because i've already got the latest version on there now you can type you can uh, run the program by typing pi qso we don't want to do that we want to create ourselves a little icon that we can double click on the desktop right click and we're going to go to create launcher and we're going to call it the name of the program so p y q s o call it log we're going to, command is pi q s o that's the command you can put a comment there if you want to but type application you can see we've created the program icon you can double click that and it'll run but I don't like the ugly icon. Let's change that. Right click and we are going to go to properties. Click here and change it. So if you've seen my previous video, how to change icons in Linux, you can use uh, JPEGs, PNGs. I'm sure other formats will work as well. Can you have a little photograph of yourself? So I'm going to push open and then close. And you can see there we've got our program. Let me just drag that into the ham radio programs. You see other programs are installed. Chirp for programming radios, GQRX, PyQSO, the one we just made up, FL Digi, another part of FL Digi, uh, GP Predict, QSS TV, and a Morse code program. That's for decoding images from uh, HF when they send SS TV and things you can do, uh, decode images from space. So let's double click on PyQSO. And you can see that it looks a bit bare. So what we need to do is press the plus. And I'm going to stick it in. Well, I'll just stick it anywhere in my documents, really. And I'm going to call it. Let's go documents. I've got some there I was playing with earlier. So I'm going to call it uh, my DX log. And we're going to press down here, save. You can see there it says number logs zero, number of QSOs zero, date modified. Okay, so now what we need to do is add a like a database to it. So we're going to push the plus. We're going to call it a log name and we're going to call it GB3OY, which is a repeater that I use all the time. We're going to press OK and you can see here it's got index, call sign, date, and that sort of stuff. Press the plus at the top here, add a record. So I talk to Salim, my friend of mine, M0XTA. And I talk to him, say, on Thursday morning at 7 o'clock. I'll say set for 7. And the time's in 24 hour. So if you talk to him after then, you could put 15, 30, or 1930. I don't know the exact frequency off, offhand, so I'm going to make one up 433. Point 
um, 400. You see it puts in the band there, 70 sems. You can have uh, all different bands there. Mode I used was FM. And I was using, well he was using, just say 10 watts. I got a 5.9 signal from him. And we also got a 5.9 signal back because it's a strong repeater. And in the comments here, notes we can put, this is a very good repeater. In here, we can put a name and country and that sort of stuff in the IO designator. So it might be IO91, Romeo, Sierra, whatever. You can put them in there. Only really going to fill that bit out if I'm doing a CQ contest, like on a two meter net night. So I'm going to push OK. And we want to add another record. So we're just going to push the plus. I'll do my call sign 2E0. And I'll say, well, now I'll make something up. Thursday at 8 o'clock. And the same one 433 400. Mode again. Well, it's FM and just do five nine. You get the idea. Just press OK. Now, if we want to add another database in there, we're going to push new log. I can type in GB three BH. Another repeater I use. I can do the same thing. So M one C Y T. Can you talk? I spoke to him on Saturday. 17th for argument's sake and I spoke to him at 15.30 using 433.325 and we used the FM and 5 watts because mobile 5 stroke 9 5 stroke 9 and I just push OK I could go again and put another record in there and have a list of records. But if I go to the first one and I can filter it by a call sign, so I could type in 2E0, it lists all the 2E0s e and I could put my call sign there and it gave me 2E0 could J. See when we last spoke and I can do also do that with M0. There you go, XTA. So that was a quick look at PyQSO and how to install it on Linux. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. 7 threes, this is 2E0 IQJ. 7 threes.